Self-proclaimed interim president Juan Guaidó chose the day that commemorates former president Hugo Chavez's 1992 failed coup attempt to send an impassioned message to Venezuela's armed forces. He asked them to allow international humanitarian aid into the country. El momento es ahora. The moment is now, patriotic soldier, Captain, Colonel, Navy Officer, General. The moment is now. If you have any doubts, ask your families what is the right thing to do. We have given you assurances of amnesty and we have also told you of the role you will play in the reconstruction of this country. At this hour, desperately needed food and medicine is being gathered at the Colombia-Venezuela border in defiance of President Nicolás Maduro. But the irony is lost on no one. For years, President Maduro has refused to recognize the existence of a humanitarian crisis, arguing that it could serve as a pretext for intervention by foreign powers. Now, his opponents, in the form of an alternative government, have taken the initiative, a move that could tilt the scales by forcing the military to choose between obedience or allowing essential supplies to cross the border. Guaidó got another boost when at least 19 European nations joined the U.S., Canada and much of Latin America in recognizing him as interim president after Maduro rejected an ultimatum to hold new presidential elections. An angry Maduro accused the Spanish president of being a servant of U.S. interests. I say to Mr. Pedro Sanchez, God forbid, but if one day there is a coup, if one day there is a gringo military intervention, your hands will have blood on them, just like the hands of former Spanish Prime Minister José María Aznar in the war in Iraq. They will forever be stained in blood and history will remember you as a puppet who was put at the service of the interventionist warmongering policy of Donald Trump. Maduro says he's asked Pope Francis to intercede and barter a dialogue with the opposition to resolve the conflict. This as human rights organizations are sounding the alarm. We're witnessing what is probably the largest number of political prisoners in Venezuelan history. Between January 21st and 31st, there were 966 new arrests. The NGO, which tracks detentions, says the majority are accused of instigating hatred and in many cases of terrorism, using false evidence. This as opposition leaders prepare to test the loyalty of those who it's believed will ultimately determine the outcome of this power struggle. Lucia Newman, Al Jazeera, Caracas.